Hey guys, Editing Omni here. Real quick before we get into the video, I just need to address something up front. The entire way through this recording, it went completely unnoticed by me until I was looking back through the footage. I had accidentally left a big old label on this shirt throughout the entire thing. At least when my headphones are off and resting on my shoulders, it's not that noticeable, but once I put them on, it's really hard not to miss. But anyway, let's get into this week's reaction. Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for one hell of a Friday. Today we're going to be checking out episode two of season two of Hell of a Boss. The opening episode of this season was heavy. There was so much to chew into with the dynamic and the relationship and the history between Blitz and Stolas and kind of what led them down the path that they're on. We're seeing the echoes of their parents' ideals and failings kind of weigh them down even in the present day, though Stolas seems to be much farther along about figuring these things out than even Blitz is. He seems to finally be at a place where he's confident in standing up for himself and what he actually wants. I just really hope that Blitz can eventually meet him there. But with that all said, guys, let's get ready to jump into this. If you're also watching this for the first time, like myself, check out the original video without me talking over top of it. I have a link down in the description below. Always want to show support to the original content. And once you've done that, come back here and we can go through the journey together yet again. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you do, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And with that all said down the way, let's hop into episode two, Seeing Stars. Here we go. In the great expanse of the nether, there exist boundless amounts of magnificent phenomena. The great brilliance of an exploding star. The nimble dance Man, I love this celestial imagery every time it comes Once up. every 1,000 years, our corner of reality is treated to an incredible sight. From the deep eldritch recesses of the cosmos, the tears of a forgotten colossus begin to fall. Tears made of the hopes and dreams of every living thing that never came to be, condensed and sent shooting across the night sky in a dazzling final display. What appears to mortal beings as a meteor shower, we can see for what it is. Azathoth's tears. Azathoth's tears. Daddy, can we go see it someday? Aww. Yes, dear, I promise. When the day comes, nothing will be able to keep me from being there with you. Good night, my owlet. Oh, that doesn't bode well. We're gonna flash forward and then we're gonna struggle to make this promise come true. Oh my goodness. She's got it planned out. Dude, like, this is so far. We have, up until this point, until like the reconciliation at the end of the second episode of the first season, obviously with the way the things were going, you know, their, their relationship was very strained. So like, it's clearly getting better. Meanwhile, everything else is kind of falling apart with Stolas going through with the divorce. I don't know, it both warms and breaks my heart at the same time to see her excited to spend time with her dad. Because we weren't seeing that side of her uh, when we were introduced to them together. So, I'm not feeling good right now. Hey, Dad. She's even got a pep in her step, man. Dad? Dad? Yes, I know. It will be there shortly. Of course they're being careful. Dad, what's going on? Apparently, your mother can't exist <laughs> Expensive somewhere. Expensive shit. the entirety of her possessions for pushing... No, what? No, I'm not turning her against you. You're... Yes! You've done that yourself. Dad, this is going to be done before tonight, right? What? Oh, I hardly think so. Knowing your mother, this will take all weekend. He's so... He doesn't even... I, get, he, I guarantee he doesn't even know what day it is. Tonight, we're supposed to... Darling, can we not talk about this now? Your mother's being a real B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know you can spell? I've never seen <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh. She gonna try to do it without him? Have the talk. Uh, honey, 
wait just to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What, what was on what was on the calendar? I I need to check. Writing lessons, have the talk, have the talk, have the talk. He keeps putting it off. Whatever that is, like a unicorn or just a regular old horse. But either way, riding lessons, stolas question mark, and a splooging penis. And then F2D? Fuck to something? Anyway. <laughs> is that a post-it note with his face on Verasica's body? I mean, wow, a good throw, honey. I'm so proud of you. Oh, God. Oh, they have mugs with themselves on them. I want those. Oh, that's the talk. Because I was like, I feel like we're way past the birds and the bees talk at this point. So I didn't know, like, usually when you see the talk, that's what people mean. So when I saw that, I was like, wait a second, hold on. I'm sure we're well past that point. But he's also... I don't know, he takes his role as a parent very seriously, but also in this weird roundabout way. So I wouldn't be surprised if he thinks he still needs to have the talk. But anyway, that's not the case. That just explaining my headspace and my thought process for no reason right now. Here we go. If I'm so terrible, how about you just grow a pair and replace me? Okay, well maybe I, maybe I might. What? Mm. Maybe I will, little missy. Yeah, I like that I little thumbs up from Moxie. So now you can go to your desk. Mm. Oh, wait. Sir, if I may say so, you're doing the right thing. What in the world is she doing? Hire a cheerful, qualified receptionist. How can people trust? Oh, is she here for the book? <laughs> yeah, not a, you're, you're lucky they are oblivious. But she was not being stealthy at all. Let's those stuff. Do not steal. More horses. Oh yeah, his his house. He had a lot of horse stuff as well. Like a, I think a statue, a couple of drawings or paintings or something of horses. Does he like horses? Hmm. Take me to see the stars. Oh yeah, she's she's just gonna do it herself. Sir, the fuck. Oh, she broke the mug. Luna. Oh yeah, you have a visitor. Hey, this is why we needed the talk. Where am I? Oh, she doesn't know how to use the book. So when she said take me to the stars, it interpreted that loosely because she didn't, you know, dial it in. So it took her to freaking Hollywood. That was a, that was one of the stars on Hollywood Boulevard right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, he seems to like you, sir. Maybe he would understand Okay, it. my dick is good, but it is not that good, Moxie. Sir, I don't think we really have a choice. So, what, you want me to just call him up and be like, Hey, Stolas, oh, your daughter came by, took your book, and teleported off to who the fuck knows where. We have no way of getting either of them back, okay? Okay, good talk. Bye. Wow, that actually went better than I thought. <laughs> Holy shit! Can you, can you help? How, how do I get? I, I, excuse me, I just need to know where I can see the stars. Mm. Well, good luck with that here. Well, if you're meaning the literal stars. Yes. How could this happen? Do you just let anyone waltz into your office and grab infinitely powerful artifacts? Why would she do this? How are we supposed to find her? Where would she go? <laughs> Well, it reeks of urine and desperation, so... Ugh. L.A. <laughs> Alright, Luna, let's make this quick in and out. <laughs> that, like, little toss where he had Luna co 
popped up in his hand. It's like, whoop. Oh, it's little details, man. Little details. Before anyone notices us here. Oh, this doesn't look much different from hell. <laughs> All right, now let's get to work. <laughs> Looney, sniff. How am I supposed to smell anything in this city? Can't you even do one thing right? Can't you finally do something about how fat you are? I'm not. You know, it wouldn't kill you to put a salad in your body every now and then. What? But I'm oh. not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first, if we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What were those signs? What were those signs? Public health warning finds LA water overflow literal acid. Previously, don't. Drink that shit, says scient or scientists say. <laughs> what? Oh wait, there's a little doodle of them. Is that Stolas with like a Pringles mustache? Yeah, that's that's. Wait, what the hell? Why? Is it, there's just a little doodle of the gang, right there. Why? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, no, that was him trying to give a plan. Oh, whoa! Human Stolas! Oh shit, the full sign. New study finds LA water to be 2% sewer over overflow and 98% literal acid. No, obviously, don't drink that shit. Top scientists say. Sadly, no. I'd believe that. I'm afraid without my grimoire, my powers are just a tad limited in the human world. What, you Aww. can't memorize your fucking spells? Oh, your memory's so great? What's his phone number? <laughs> Fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> Will we ever get human versions of everybody and not just... Luna and well now Stolas. Check out this demo right here. This is premium grade A fire right here. Perfect for you to crank with the little lady. Oh wow, you made this. Thank you. Oh. Hey, 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 hold up a sec. You just gonna grab it and go? He said thank you. 20 bucks, man. Millie, we need money to pay this talented artist. You can just give it back, Mark. <gasps> Millie. These artists put their heart and soul into their work. I love I Moxie so much, man. <laughs> oh my god, feral Moxie. I didn't know I needed that in my life. But oh my lord, him just hissing at that squirrel. Oh, Probably fuck. Is. Sick demon costume, man. It's metal as fuck. I have an idea. Whoa. Hey, 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 oh, hey, the, they're going to be street performers. <sighs> and to your left, you'll see the home of one of those influencers who thinks they're hot shit because now they do TV shows. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so? Ah, no. Oh it's Hollywood star, Brandon Rager. The fuck is a Brandon Rager? Oh, oh dear. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> Is that like an Elmozilla? I will kill for you until the day we die. Holly's Wood. Hello, Troubadour. Whatever, man. Get the fuck out of here. You're cramping my business. Come on, babe. We have to catch up to Blitz before... Hey, wanna buy some art? Uh, yes! Uh, uh. I'm taking this out of their What in the world? Mr. 
Rangers. We've been looking for you everywhere. What the? You were supposed to be on set an hour oh ago. my god. He's actually You're getting, getting confused for them now. Sweetie, I'm in the house. We're taping tonight. Now hurry up and get in the car. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere with you, Jizz Biscuit. That's such a fun Very play funny, on the Mr. actor Rangers. that plays get in the car. Blitz. Come, come on, Being boy, confused come on. for Fucking Blitz. Or the reverse oh, of that. Oh god, stole is chill. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Fear could be anywhere. She Aww. could be in danger. Don't worry, I'm on it. Rudy, go find Bia. We'll catch up soon. Yeah, way to be a team player, sweetie. She's in great hands. <sighs> this is a duo I'm excited to see, though. Luna and Octavia together. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh, whoa. Uh, <laughs> it's like a little Pennywise Annabelle hybrid thing. Down, boy. Down. Let's get him ready. He's on in five. What? Five what? I, I can't be on a sitcom. Should have had an ego crisis before signing the contract. I, 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 whoa, I don't even know the fucking lines, idiot. Well, that's why God invented teleprompters. Shouldn't we uh. rehearse or something? No can do, we're live in 10, 9. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. And, uh, I, 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 I can't do this, no, not again. Hey, dude, it's just like, since clips. yeah, it's if just. If your performance on stage is half as good as it is in bed, you'll leave them breathless. No. Okay, now hurry up and wow them so we can get back to what? What a supportive man, dude. Let's go. But I was going to say, it was like, how long has it been since he's been on stage or front and center? Because we also still don't know why he's no longer even at the circus. Oh, God. Say something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was just my wife rolling out of bed. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yeah, and then that bitch hit her head on the way down and shattered her skull. <clears throat> There's blood everywhere. Peter Pan. Aww. <laughs> Aww. It's just like at the circus. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god, what is that with that rabbit ass child in the background? Oh wow. Detective Luna is on the case. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Yo! The observatory, man. You've gone and done it again. That's the fifth couch this year. <laughs> See, this is kind of breaking my heart a little bit because he's getting validation out of this, but it's it's fake. I hope he doesn't find out. Mr. Ronnie, I'd be happy to adopt old Uggy and give him the attention he needs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe oh. you should adopt. Oh no. Oh, so oh no. And they're sad. 
lad. Maybe you could adopt this one here. Quite a strong lad. He'll be perfect for whatever work you want to use him for. Yeah, oh! I'm looking for no ugly walker. <laughs> I need something that's more family friendly. A gift for the wife, huh? No problem. We have a nice selection of other hounds. Who's that? Oh, her. That's just Luna. What a nightmare. Serious attitude problems. She'll be Aww. out of our hair next month when she ages out. Good riddance, if you ask me. She'll never amount to anything much. No, 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 you can't have her. She's mine and I love her. But Mr. Ronnie, you oh God, he's... let me have the puppy. You just you little anal fisher. Oh, you mean this is funny, assholes? She's not fit to be a mother. I saw her doing lines of coke in her dressing room. No, uh, Ronnie. I think maybe you should. You can't have my baby, bitch. I'll never get rid of her. Oh my God! This escalated so fast. That couple behind him was tied together by a rope at the neck. What the? Let it burn. Oh my god. <laughs> now let's go find our daughters. Mm. <laughs> Oh, God damn it, man. I'm so fucking misty right now. That whole sequence with Blitz was just, oh my God. Hey. Hey, how did you find me? Your Instagram. Nice pics, by the way. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. You okay? I can't believe I was so stupid. I spent all day looking for a place where I could see some dumb meteor shower. And all I get is this. Yeah, Smog's a bitch. No. <laughs> you know. Gotta love the little owl noises, really man. Right, that's why you're here instead of him. He couldn't be bothered to keep his promise, and now he can't be bothered to come and get me himself. He'd rather spend his time just screaming at my mum. Why does he hate her more than he loves me? <sighs> sometimes... Sometimes it's not as simple as that. This kind of shit gets messy. Everybody's got issues, especially dads. And sometimes they fuck up. Well, all the time. That doesn't mean they don't care. If he cares, where is he? He's somewhere down there. <laughs> He's here? Looking for you. I mean, try to cut your dad some slack. He may not always get it right, but he's trying. It's better That's than most can say. Think. <laughs> and <laughs> wildfire ensues. This is California, though. No. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> now, if we can just find where. Not topic. Nice. Luna, my sweet baby girl, I'm so sorry. I'll never replace you no matter what you- oh. You're good. Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm just relieved you're okay. But what would possess you to do such a thing? You know I haven't taught you spells like this yet. I just wanted to see the stars you promised. The stars? <gasps> Azathoth's tears. Oh, no. Oh, my dear sweet Via. I am so... I know, Dad. It's okay. You're here now. <laughs> Come on. Just a little hug. It's okay. My acting career. <gasps> Look at that one. Did you see that one? Now, where the 
motherfucker Eminem. <laughs> oh, oh, them. I, I completely thought. <laughs> I thought, well, we're in L L.A., so he just randomly had the thought to Joe see if he could find Eminem, like the rapper. And I don't, I don't <laughs> completely didn't even think he meant these two. Wait, did he steal an Oscar or receive an Oscar? What the hell? Rose's Awards? What have they been doing? Their performance really kicked off, didn't it? Oh, God, I'm getting a headache. Yeah, it is. He can't stop winning awards. Oh! <laughs> March, mister. Oh, she had to put her head. She finally had to put her foot down. You're my pretty oh. ray of hellfire. God, that was such a good episode. Holy shit. And just like with everything else, man, just like everything else, you know, it it's fun, it's wild, it's wacky, but then it just it just stabs you right in the chest. <sighs> I've talked about this before on the channel. It's no secret or anything like that. I'm a product of divorce. I've been through all of that, and for me, you know, even like after all of that, like my dad completely fell to the wayside for the most part. Like there was a period where I went 8 years where we never even exchanged a single word so like father relationships honestly and just familial ones in general always really get a rise out of me and like in the heat of the situation and i've been through my own spats before like in relationships fallouts things like when life kind of gets in the way of plans of things you wanted to do whether it's with yourself or others you just get swept up, you lose track of time, you get absorbed, your thoughts are scattered, and sometimes things fall by the wayside, Think sometimes important things. So like Stolas, when he's finally standing up for himself and he kicked Stella to the curb, you know, get, going through with the divorce, and now she's just continuing to make his life hell, which is going to be the case for quite some time after that. I don't know what the divorce process is in hell, but I'm sure it's probably way more hellish than it is here. Obviously, she was just putting up such a fuss, and I don't know how much time happened between him doing that and here, but it's definitely consuming everything. And seeing how much that Octavia is really looking forward to this day with her father, this thing that he's promised her since she was a kid, and again, I think that plays so nicely when you juxtapose it with how we were introduced to these two with the current status of the family at the time their relationship was very distanced and you know, he was trying but obviously with everything going on between them it was just it was hard for her to kind of break through that barrier and he's been trying so much and after that episode which i think is still potentially my favorite episode of uh season one if it not Top two. It's definitely one of my favorites, and it's still got one of my favorite songs, I think, as well. That relationship, just to see how they kind of worked through that there, and to get to this point where things were finally good between them, and then this happens, and it just makes it difficult for Stolas to be there in the way that she wants and needs, and the way that he wants and needs. This is just consuming him now. You kind of can parallel that with, you know, uh, Blitz his journey over this. Uh, I like that they did this, this, this pairing of two fathers trying to work through their relationships. You know, he's going through a divorce with his wife and, you know, he's got to kind of figure things out with his own kid. Meanwhile, Blitz has always been trying to find some semblance of connection. And, you know, he saw this person who was also kind of cast out and took her in, gave her a family. Like he didn't want to give up on her. Sure, maybe she's problematic. She might be difficult to work with. She might have issues, but that doesn't mean she should just be discarded and forgotten and left for society to completely dismantle all on her own and to figure things out all on her own just because of her circumstance. And he took her in, man. And then when he was on stage, and again, we don't know the full story about what caused him to leave the circus, but there was that moment where he was just like terrified to get out on stage once he realized what was about to happen. He was like, I haven't been on stage since, and he just started panicking. I was like, I don't know what happened, what caused him to kind of leave that life behind? Because we did just jump 25 years into the future from the last bit. 
And that's one of the things that I talked to, like, I kind of praised him on was in the heat of like these difficult issues when we saw him as a child, like he improv on the fly and maybe it didn't work with everybody, but again, it worked with Stolas. And that was a nice little callback moment here. It won't call back to like the previous episode, but he fumbled a little bit, tried to find his footing and he winged it and Stolas found that funny. He was there and it just shows the strength of that connection and what really draws them together beyond all the superficial material stuff or the physical stuff like they connect emotionally whether they both realize it or not and I love that you know Stolas was there supporting him the entire way through and he was just panicking and then when they had this adoption storyline where he's supposed to give up this this puppy to this other family and he just freaked out like it just made him call back to to Luna and also talking about how he used that as a playful threat to motivate her to change her ways in the workplace. He said he was going, what if I just fire you? What if I put my foot down and I, I, I kick you out? And then it calls back to this moment here where he's faced with the situation where he's seeing this avatar, this placeholder for her in which he's supposed to give her up. And he says, no, 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 I, he couldn't. He broke down. He freaked out. He's like, that's not happening. You can't take her away. You're not taking her from me. You know, she deserves better than this. She deserves whatever, all that crap. You know, we saw that connection. And it just shows like he doesn't want to put his foot down in that way. He's trying to do what's best for her. But at the same time, he's trying to manage everything else. He's juggling so much. Oh my God. It's, it's just like a perfect parallel between both what's going on, but in different ways between him and Stolas in this episode. And then as well, having Octavia and Luna be the two that come together and Luna be the one to reach out. Of all people, you know, Luna, who, as described, is not much of a people person. Her old problem back at the office is she just, she's not great with the customers. She's always rude, aggressive, and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, for her to be the one to kind of relate and understand and finally take a moment to breathe and see that, you know, sure, He's overbearing, sure, he over emotes, sure, he's not always great, but she understands what he's trying to do beyond all of her outbursts. And through that connection, she's able to relate to Octavia and even kind of share some very well needed advice and condolences on what's going on. He's like, at the very least, they're trying, because at the worst, they might not be trying at all. Just hearing that she was missing in the human world snapped him right out of that pettiness that was going on between him and his ex-wife. And he went straight there. Dude, him busting down that door, demon form, was wicked. Blitz! <laughs> it was so good. And then they both go together to go figure this out. You know, Millie and Moxie, it seems like a lot of the time they're just, they have a fun little side plot going on. We've had like one or two episodes that kind of gave them like the center stage but i love the little like side gags they kind of get themselves on like him stomach across this artist who's just trying to fork off and uh charge you for his demo that he just popped off he had to figure out how to make money because the guy's making him charge you for it and moxie being the gentle soul he is understands the value of art he's like oh he worked real hard for this i want to give him his due which is also kind of a commentary on the artists that work on this show as well and a lot of the people that make art in general whether it's in good faith or not or good art or not you know he appreciates the sentiment and the work that goes into it that kind of crafted their whole storyline and then at the end of the day he ended up winning these awards he ended up making all kinds of money on the street and i don't know he won an emmy or an oscar or something dude had placards ribbons and a fucking trophy in that bag he was toting back and he was like art's heavy <laughs> God, it's so good. That's another thing that I love when I'm going to these conventions too, is going through the artist booths, the artist alleys, and just seeing all the fun stuff that people have either made, drawn, painted, whatever, whether it's a craft, a keychain, posters, wall art, all kinds of stuff. Like I love seeing all of it because that's what I went to school for. I went to school for art and like, I just, I don't know, maybe I have a little higher of appreciation for it, but I love seeing other people's stuff and what they've, what they can do especially when they're putting into these passions, these things that also kind of give them energy like this, like when you're making art of something you love. 
I like that we came across like a fan artist in this world when they stumbled upon his booth. There's a lot of fun little details like that. And then like the jabs they take at LA was a lot of fun. This was just such a well-rounded episode when it comes to this show. You know, it had all of the pieces that you enjoy. You know, the fun little bits, the, the gooey lovey bits, the funny raunchy stuff, the murder, the violence, and then just the hard-hitting emotional moments and then the resolution of those moments. But guys, I've been talking long enough. I'm going to pass it off to you guys. What did you all think? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry in the conversation after the video. Remember to support the original video. I have a link to it down in the description below. And before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share it. Ryan, Karen, York, Horse, Scott, Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Trail, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justin Smith, and Brendan Boyd. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.